My name is Julia DeMarinas and I'm a research associate here at the Breakthrough Listen Labs um, at Berkeley SETI Research Center and um, I do, I help out with some of the SETI observations with the Green Bank Telescope and occasionally the Parks Telescope. The probably pivotal moment of getting into um, SETI and astrobiology or at least really sparked my passion was uh, when I was 13 my dad rented a VHS way back, way back when. Um, of contact and he said I think you really like this so I watched it by myself in my basement and I just came out like a changed human and just to see a female role model like Jodie Foster's character Eleanor Ann Arroway was like just yeah really inspiring and from then on I, I knew that's what I wanted to do and went to college um, at the University of Colorado at Boulder to study astronomy and took a class called ET Life which kind of felt just even cooler like okay i knew seti existed but it didn't seem like there was a means to get to that kind of research but when i took this astrobiology class it was like okay here's how you actually do it then i've kind of been on this this trajectory to not only do space research but also share this passion of astrobiology to the public i definitely thought it'd be headphones and listening to static and washing machines as as they say in the movie um but it's a lot of uh, looking at data. So I spend a lot of my days in front of a computer for sure. In college, I, I really got into spectroscopy um, and optical astronomy. So those are kind of the skills I came in with and the rest of it is, is a learning process of learning how to code in Python and data wrangle, which is a interesting skill to learn. And right now I'm leading a project on called the Moon Bounce Project, where we're pointing our telescopes at the moon because the moon is a natural reflector of radio light. And we're trying to assess what our own techno signature is um, by kind of using the, the moon as a mirror, as trying to see what we sound like to an alien. When you hear the word SETI, uh, we think of like searching for intelligent, or yeah, extraterrestrial intelligence. But really what we're searching for is a sign of technology. So kind of any anomalous signature that can't be explained by natural phenomena is what we're looking for. Part of the Moon Bounce project, when we're looking for our own techno signature, we are right now only doing that in the radio waves, but we'd like to expand on that into the optical wave to see, again, using the moon, looking for earth shine, what spectral signatures we can say are coming from uh, human influenced things. Have collected a large chunk of data of about 50 hours of observing the moon and off the moon kind of together. So right now we are in the kind of early stages of analyzing that data. Ultimately, we wanna compare it with results from previous studies of the moon bounce, kind of similar moon bounce project done in the, seven, in the, the early 80s and then in 2012. So we wanna see how our radio output is changed over time. We want to also compare that to what the known radio transmitters are on earth. So I have, I'm working with an intern who's an undergraduate here at UC Berkeley who's helping me plot some of these these things um, so we can kind of corroborate that information with perhaps the, the peaks in certain frequencies that we're seeing. And we also need to know like what part of, of Earth we're seeing. So if you imagine there's an astronaut on the moon looking straight down at Earth, uh, what phase, what part of Earth are they seeing?